Hey guys, it's Melanie, and today I thought I would share my thoughts with you on the new in-depth thoughts <laughs> on the new NYX products that I purchased and showed in my random haul earlier in the week. So I wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about these products because I feel like NYX came out with some amazing things for the springtime. Um, I believe all of these are new releases within the collection. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure they are. There's one thing that I'm a little bit more ambivalent about, and I'll actually start with that, but the rest, love. Love these new products. Okay, the first thing I'm going to um, sort of share with you guys is the new NYX Prismatic Eyeshadow. And I only grabbed the color Girl Talk. I also was interested in Punk Heart as well as Bedroom Eyes, but both of those were sold out. My Ulta was honestly kind of ransacked. So, um, I, okay, let, okay. This shadow, it is very, it is pigmented. When you swatch it, it is probably one of like the best swatching eyeshadows that you can get at the drugstore. <laughs> it is almost metallic, very shiny, and just beautiful. Here's the thing that you have to know about these prismatic eyeshadows though, and again, this is the color Girl Talk. You can't really apply them with a brush. You have to use your fingers to apply these to your eyelid, and that way, that's the only way that you really get the color payoff that you would want from a shadow like this. Um, if you're going to go for these prismatic shadows, I'm thinking that you probably want something that has a very metallic, very shimmery, very specific type of finish. And you're not going to get that type of finish by putting it on with a brush. You have to use your fingers. So just be prepared for that. That being said, when you apply it with your fingers and when you apply it over a base, it's amazing. It looks so, so pretty. The colors that they have are, uh, I want to say there's like 10. Don't quote me on that. But there were a few. Um, I certainly hope they'll come out with a, a few more. I would like to see a nice taupe. <laughs> um, but as far as like the quality, it's good quality. It's, you know, I use it over a primer, so I don't have any like issues with it lasting. Um, I don't know if you used it just on bare skin if it would last as well, but I don't know. I, I give it a thumbs up. I don't give it two thumbs up, but I give it a thumb up. I wish that you could apply these with a brush. That's I really don't like dipping my fingers in my products, but because it is so pretty, I am glad that I have it. I'm not entirely sure that I will pick up Punk Heart and Bedroom Eyes, which are the other two that I'm interested in. Um, I might, but it's not like I need to like rush out and go do that. Um, so nice eyeshadows, great packaging, um, you know, a little bulky. Single shadows are always kind of a pain in the butt because you get kind of a lot of packaging for just a little pan. So, um, and I don't know about depotting these. These seem really soft. I would imagine that if you tried to depot this sucker that it would probably just crumble on you. So beware. All right, next I'm going to talk about the lipstick that I'm wearing right now, and it's one of the new high voltage lipsticks from NYX. Um, obviously, these are all NYX products. This is in the color Flutter Kiss. So this is what I have on my lips. One, this color. Oh, it's to die for, you guys. I love these, like, plummy, mauve type colors. I love them. They're like a your lips, but, like, way better <laughs> type of color. I just, uh oh, and this formula. First off, it is like a skinnier lipstick bullet, so, you know, it's it's a lot thinner than most lipsticks. Let's compare it to a Maybelline one. So you can see the difference in terms of, like, the thickness of the lipstick. So you're getting a little bit less product. However, what I have to say about that is this is so much easier to apply than a bigger lipstick. Like, it's very easy to just like go around the edges. It's not like it's that much more work. It's actually easier to me because you're able to be more precise with your application and the formula. You guys, this wears for so long. I wore this, well, I've been wearing this for the last few days and quite honestly, I only have to reapply it like twice during the day, put it on in the morning. It's so long wearing. It doesn't claim to be a long wearing lipstick, but it almost has like a staining effect on your lips and it just seems to hang around forever. I am so impressed with these. 
There are a couple of other colors that I want to get, but I also want to just get a couple of backups of the Flutter Kiss because this color is just like, it's perfection. I love it. I absolutely love this color and we'll be picking up more of these. Um, I want one to just stick in my purse for, you know, those random touch-ups should I need them. But like I said, it's so long wearing that like just reapplying it two times a day is plenty to get wear throughout the entire day. And that's kind of unheard of with most lipsticks. So the high voltage lipsticks are definitely worth checking out. I just feel like this is an amazing formulation. It's creamy. It's not drying. It feels like it's hydrating my lips. What is my hair doing? Oh, Christ. Okay. Um, it hydrates my lips. It, ju it just feels great, you guys. This is probably one of my favorite formulations now of lipsticks. It is. It's amazing. All right. The Micro Brow Pencil. Ooh, I love this. I... I love this so much that I went and grabbed two more as backups. I tend to go through brow pencils pretty quickly because I don't have brows, really. <laughs> I have a little bit of hair, but for the most part, um, I plucked most of that hair out. <laughs> it's not regrowing. Um, thank you, middle school. <laughs> I went to middle school in the early 90s and that was the time of like plucking your eyebrows within an inch of their life and um, that was great back then because that was the style but it's not really the style now to have skinny eyebrows so I'm stuck drawing these puppies on every day so I go through a pencil like this in about a month so that's why I went and got some backups okay this particular brow pencil is the most similar to the Anastasia Brow Wiz that I have ever come across. It is extremely similar. It has a little spoolie on the end just like the Anastasia and the formulation itself is very, um, are there eyebrow hairs on here? There totally are. How funny. Um, the formulation is very similar to the Anastasia. I have the color taupe. Taupe is what works for me. They do have a blonde one. Whenever I use blonde brow products they tend to turn orange on me because of my oilier skin type. But this is fantastic. The color taupe is perfect. Let me just get a good size swatch here so you can see the color on my skin. Um, oh, you guys, so easy to use this. It. Um, oh, I did not just do that. Oh, I totally did it on camera too. That's embarrassing. I just put the wrong lid on. Okay, so here's something to watch out for. This lid is <laughs> meant for the spoolie side. Do not stick it on this side. Um, so I just kind of crushed the very tip of that. But anyway, um, it's it's a much harder tip. It's very easy to get uh, hair like strokes with this and uh, it just lasts all day, doesn't fade. It's, it's phenomenal. So this is also nice because you can, um, you know, have it go all the way up. I can show you the amount that I have left here after using it for about a week now. Hoping this thing doesn't fall out. Ooh, I think that might be it. <laughs> you don't get much product, but you don't get much product with the Anastasia either or the Sephora retractable brow pencil, which is what I was using before. So just kind of keep that in mind. You get the same amount. It's 0 0.003 ounces um, as you do with the Anastasia and the Sephora brow pencil. So they all come with the same amount, um, which is why you go through them so quickly. But they're $9.99. It's cheaper than the Sephora one, it's cheaper than the Anastasia one, and quite frankly, this is pretty readily available to me because I can find it at my Ulta now, and I can find it at my local Fred Meyer. Fred Meyer sells these as well. They don't have everything from the new line, but they do have a couple of things, so worth checking there. And Fred Meyer oftentimes has buy one, get one half off. I actually picked up the two backups at Ulta the other day. Actually, yesterday, I went looking for a few more of these lipsticks and things, but the other altar that I went to was pretty picked over, but what they did have were these brow pencils. So um, I got both of them for $11.48, and they regularly sell for $9.99 each, but they were buy one, get one half off, and I used that $3.50 off Ulta coupon from Retail Me Not, um, or if you get the coupons in the mail, use the one you get in the mail. But really good deal, and now I'm covered for the next couple of months. This will be my repurchase going forward. I will 
I will never buy the Anastasia one again. <laughs> um, I will not buy the Sephora one because that one's $13. And this is better, just as good if not better <laughs> than either of those two. So yeah, just long wearing, doesn't fade, doesn't like come off, great stuff. Okay, lastly, I really wanted to talk about this. I am a lover of the NYX Blush and Taupe, the original. Um, this is one of my backups. This is what I use to contour every single day. It is a dirty gray brown that works so beautifully to contour my skin. Let me give you guys a swatch. I don't know if you'll really be able to tell, but that's what that looks like. NYX came out with these high definition blushes and they came out with the color Taupe. So this is a little bit harder to swatch because this is so much softer and so much more powdery. In fact, it's really hard for me to actually get a good swatch for you guys. So you can see where I swirled around in there. These are so soft, so soft. Keep that in mind. Um, where can I put this? Let me see if I can swatch it on my arm here. It's funny because the original one is much harder. Oh, I did it in the wrong place. Anyway, can you guys see that at all? Okay, so the original... Oh, why do I always do this? Okay, so this is the original powder blush in taupe, and this is the new HD one. You can see this is... I can't even really get this to blend all that well. There is a slight difference in the color. This one is much more gray brown, whereas this is gray brown with a slight hint of like mauviness to it. I have to say, if they're doing away with this NYX blush and taupe, I'll be a little bit sad because I don't love this one quite as much. However, if they do away with this, I can make this one work. Quite frankly, what how you really need it to work is when you dip a brush into it and apply it to your cheeks. I'm wearing this today. Um, it's good. It is good. Once you use a brush, it's fine. It's just so much more powdery. You do get a little bit more product with this, but because it is so powdery, I feel like you're wasting more product, if that makes sense. When you dip your brush in here, even in like the slightest way, like it kicks up powder and it has excess that goes all over my white table here. Um, so all that being said, if you cannot find this one, this is definitely a good replacement for it. I wish that it wasn't quite as soft. The color, I don't mind. There, There is, like I said, that slight difference. This just has a hint of like mauviness to it, but I feel like they both, once you apply them for the most part, have the same look on your contour. Um, I also contour the sides of my nose and um, either one is a good option for that. For me personally, I think what I'm going to try to do is hunt down as many of these taupe ones as I can to have as backups because these are going to be easier for me to travel with than this. I feel like this would probably, if it got banged around too much, would probably shatter. It is that soft. Um, so just kind of something to watch out for. I think it's a good product. I just think the formulation of it is not quite as good as the original powder blushes. So I don't know, some people may prefer the softer formula, um, but it's it's good. <laughs> hopefully that helped. And again, I'm so sorry for these crappy swatches, but hopefully you can kind of see them there. So this is the original and that's the new one. And it's, it's so powdery. It's like, they're finally blended just a little bit better. Um, I don't know. Glad that I tried it, but you know, I won't be rushing out to buy a bunch of backups of this one. I am going to try to locate some backups of this guy though, because I do just really, um, I like how much harder this is. Um, so it's just easier to travel with, if that makes sense. All right. Those are my thoughts on the new NYX products that I picked up. I was, whoops, it's a Q-tip. <laughs> I am going to probably head up to the Ulta that is near 
my parents' house when I go to get Stella tomorrow um, and see if they have oops, <laughs> these things in stock. My two Altas were pretty picked over. I mean, a lot of people have wanted to try the new stuff, so my hope is that they have better stock up there. Who knows? <laughs> but um, NYX did come out with some really, really great stuff. If you are in the market for a brow pencil and you normally use the Anastasia, try this. I really think that if you like the Anastasia, you're really going to like this one. So anyway, let me know if you guys have questions down below. Hopefully this was helpful, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.